Hi everyone. Hopefully you can hear me because I've been having trouble to get this thing working and I had to do this all over again. <laughs> so my first one I don't think it was really that great so I'm going to draw this again. Uh, actually I'm trying to finish up this uh, Planet X thing in the Bureau because we are coming to the end, the end of everything. And uh, these may be my last videos and I'm going to keep these up. Uh, the most important ones I'm going to keep up because things are changing and uh, of course I have s some things that I'm, you know, working at, well actually working at, but it's something very serious that everyone really needs to consider about what you plan to do with your life. And it's, uh, the world here is going to be destroyed practically. Either it's by uh, the uh, disasters or um, extreme weather, or earthquakes, anything that is bought on by Planet X, or could it be nuclear war? It could be both, and uh, most assuredly both, because there was another one uh, video I needed to look it out. For one thing that I won't be on is that uh, someone thinks. Uh, I'm a liar. I'm trying to twist words, God's word, and all, and that I don't like at all. Uh, I think that that do me in because I'm not a liar. I try to be honest, and I try to bring you the truth here. And uh, so, anybody that just comes on and do stuff like that, I don't know if they're just trying to to get me off not uh, getting the truth out. Or, or I, maybe I'm a liar. I don't know. But uh, the, this is what I'm going, I'm going to do. And, uh, and it is important to me. And it's actually for everyone else's own good. And then my own. So here goes. Okay. Uh, back to Planet X. Uh, Planet X or Nibiru. And also has other names like Wormwood and Cirrus and some other names. It's a brown dwarf star and it's a huge brown dwarf star. It's about as big as the sun, a little bit bigger. Uh, and it's actually it's red in color by some uh, uh, authorities, uh, experts. And it's denser than the earth uh, which means it has a powerful magnetic field and so does the sun so actually they kind of complement each other so it's drawn more to our sun when it comes in and it has an ecliptical orbit and can only be seen with an infrared telescopes and the and an uh, infrared telescope is very very expensive. Uh, it can cost a lot of million, millions of dollars for one. But the ones that have the money that, that has one of these is the Vatican. Alright, uh, the Roman Catholic Church. I don't know if a lot of you know this. And their observatory is in Arizona. And you can look this information up. And it the name of the observatory, or the telescope, it's the telescope, the senior observatory, they call it Lucifer. And that's quite interesting <laughs> why they call that, uh, uh, the telescope that, that name. But anyway, the planet X moves uh, out and in of the solar system every 3,600 years. Uh, I mentioned in the earlier video that there was an object that was out in space about the time of when uh, Joshua and the Israelites uh, took Jericho. You remember that story in the Bible? Uh, in the book of, uh, of Joshua? Uh, that some object goes to space and that the time of, it was also the time when the sun stood still for an entire day, a whole day. So there's some kind of um, 
something that was going on in space, or as you call some type of, uh, well, what it was, as, as some expert has said, some scholars say, that it uh, forced the Earth's rotation in reverse the other way. And what's, what's happening now that there was another expert who had uh, gathered information on Planet X that uh, that was back in 2003 that it was it was spotted in 2003 and when it was uh, first spotted it was uh, described as a red cross that was in the sky and it was given a name uh, called uh, two, 2001 KX76 and what it did is when it became, came close to the Earth's atmosphere it created strange weather patterns um, which uh, was caused by their, its gravitational effect on the Earth in what things it uh, caused or brought about on planet Earth. Remember some of the uh, the devastation and some of the uh, actually strange weather patterns that he, we have gotten uh, since this planet has uh, come near our sun. That's how how strong it, it uh, has become. And at the same time, our, we have lost our magnetic field. So actually, we are very vulnerable right now to anything that is out there in space. And it has also been told that with this gravitational pull, it has with it, it comes with it five moons. Um, and there's a number of things that were mentioned about this incoming planet. that when it comes from the uh, outer parts of, into our solar system which would have to come over the uh, Oort cloud which is on the outside of our solar system right where Pluto is it's up towards, towards the outer rim of the universe uh, if you know anything about the Oort cloud uh, but anyway when it comes through uh, this field it was. It's going to carry with it, uh, with its magnetic field, uh, space debris or space junk. And when it's uh, when it comes even close to uh, our atmosphere, I mean anything like from meteor showers, meteor strikes, um, asteroids, uh, they can be flung uh, from its magnetic field onto the Earth's surface and cause much devastation. And uh, at the same time, we would also experience a rapid pole shift. And remember, I had mentioned this before also, about the pole shift. So if uh, anything that you've heard or anyone talking about the Earth changes or anything about planet X, all these things are are going to increase. It was like the Bible said that all things upon that the coming up on the earth would increase like a woman that is travails with child when she's about ready to deliver her, her child. And that's when it will uh, come about. Uh, the, these things will, will become worse and worse. And uh, like I said, there wouldn't be much life as they predict that will be left here on planet Earth. Now when the timing of uh, planet X, when it should arrive, um, it's sp supposedly supposed to have come in our atmosphere about this time. They said around, around Passover or somewhere between Passover and Pentecost. But if it hasn't 
it, it should arrive no later than 2016. Um, I mean, it has to, or with the timing. There, um, when I mentioned that Planet X can only be viewed with an in infrared uh, telescope, that meant that it, it can't be seen by the naked eye. Uh, this picture are showing here uh, is the question is, is this planet X and the planets and the debris moving around it? And these are more than 140 times zoomed images. And you see this here. And it says, please note the specs that are, uh, appears to be stars are most likely radiation specs in this person's camera who took this this picture. Uh, there's going to be a lot of devastating effects that will happen when, when this when uh, Nibiru uh, slings this uh, the the debris uh, onto Earth. There was um, something I was trying to think of of a. Well, anyway, it kind of escapes me right now. Yeah, it comes from the Bible, I'm sorry, where it said that all the stars, all the stars would fall from the heavens and fall to earth. And this was part of the trumpet, the seven trumpet judgments. So, actually, we're in that time frame, guys. It's very, very close. And uh, I'm getting really close to... Uh, to the end of this video, so there's one thing I want, want to mention. Since I don't have a lot of information on Planet X myself, uh, I'm just going on what the Bible says about uh, the, the mountains and the islands mo being moved out of its place and the earth being really true of throw like a drunkard and it would fall and never rise again. Okay, that's pretty much indication, guys, what I mentioned in the Bible, uh, that this, this event was going to take place. Now, why is the power structure, like the elites, uh, what are they afraid of? And why are they doing all these things, keeping us all in the dark, about a lot of people resigning from their offices in Washington, and a lot of other gov government offices that, uh, they're just all of a sudden resigning. Uh, it, it just sounds persuasive. For one thing, there was a, I think there was a video on, on YouTube uh, about where they re uh, interviewed this woman from the Federal Reserve and asked to account for, it was four, four, $4 trillion dollars that was missing from the federal government. And they uh, questioned her about it and said, well, I'll have to get back with you, which eventually there was nothing else I ever heard about it. So, well, basically, guys, I believe that they are stealing money, which is really worthless anyway, but they're, they're taking the opportunity now to do what they have to do to build these underground cities. Yes, they do exist. And to buy supplies to last them for a few years until they're able to come back on the surface of the earth again. But not all that's going uh, to happen because Jesus will be coming back. And uh, remember what it says in Revelation that uh, they will all be frightened by the sign that is coming and Jesus is coming back to earth to claim what is his. And I'm going to show you in the next video because I'm towards the end and I'm going to show you a video of some of these underground facilities and tell you where some of these locations are and basically what they think about us and uh, how they uh, that the wicked would be no more and the righteous will remain on the earth. The meek shall inherit the earth. May God bless you. Till next time. Hope you uh, view my next video. Bye-bye.